Hi, I'm Kevin Shelley, South Central Regional Specialist with the University of Wisconsin Nutrient and Pest Management Program. And I'm Chris Clark, your Northeast Region Outreach Specialist with the Nutrient and Pest Management Team. Kevin, wheat is about to come off in the state of Wisconsin. What are some considerations for manure applications after wheat? Well, you're right. I mean, uh, once the wheat comes off, um, that's a, a window of opportunity to get some manure hauled. Uh, we haven't had that since spring otherwise, maybe. So um, I think that the main thing is to kind of tailor the application rate to uh, what the subsequent crop might be and just make sure that we're taking measures to prevent uh, runoff and one of the and also uh, you know the, the manure going on there now if it goes out in late July or August or even early September there's going to be a long time between uh, that and the, and the time that we have a following crop perhaps if we're not planting another crop until next year. So um, there is some potential for nutrient loss uh, late summer into the fall over winter. And so uh, we just want to make sure that we have conservation practices in place. Um, hopefully have some, some waterways if we need them. Uh, maintain the residue cover as much as possible. And then uh, certainly planting a cover crop could be a good idea to provide some soil cover to, to kind of hold those nutrients in place more. And then also maybe to take up some of the nutrients and hold them in the soil uh, until the time that we have a, a subsequent crop. Yeah, so there's been a fair amount of moisture out there, so it should be a great time after the wheat harvest to establish a cover crop. What are some good options for cover crop types um, after a wheat crop? Well, there's a lot of different options. Um, we can go with uh, get going into, you know, if we're planting in late July, early August, it won't be long and we'll start getting some cool nights. And uh, so, uh, and then going into the fall, we're probably talking most about cool season species. So uh, some of the summer species like sorghum sedan grass or forage sorghum or uh, millets, it might be, a, I think we're a little bit too late to plant most of those to, to have good success. Um, we're probably talking more about spring cereal grains like oats or barley. Uh, certainly we could plant a winter cereal as well, uh, like cereal rye. Uh, we might be a little better off to hold off uh, until September if we're going to do that. Uh, the brassicas, the forage brassicas are uh, popular like um, radishes or, or turnips or uh, rapeseed. And, um, uh, and certainly the, the multi-species mixes are, are real popular. And where can our um, farmers go for more resources about either manure applications or the cover crop options in our state? Well, we have a number of cover crop related guides on our uh, UW Nutrient and Pest Management Program website at ipcm.wisc.edu. Uh, I would start there and consider what your overall goals are and, and take a look at, at the publications we have and select from there.